In a paper printed today in Nature Neuroscience, researchers detail how their treatment allow paraplegic rats to walk again. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and I think we need to take a look at this. These researchers from the Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne, that's a research institute and university in Switzerland, have been working to repair spinal damage in mice and allow paraplegic mice to walk again since 2009. And with the help of electrochemical stimulation and robot-assisted rehabilitation, rats with uh, what they call clinically relevant spinal injuries, these are injuries that made it so their legs did not work, were able to regain control of their legs and walk again after several weeks, nine weeks I think it took, of treatments. And this is a success they started seeing back in 2012. They were able to get these mice to walk, to climb up stairs, and even swim, which is pretty impressive by itself. And they did this by recording the brain's impulses above the break in the spine and routing them over the damaged area to stimulate the nerves in the leg. And what they're seeing there was pretty impressive work. I mean, these mice were able to move again, were able to walk again, were able to go about their own locomotion, but they still needed that electrical stimulation to do it but as it went on it seems like the brains were regaining control of the damaged legs and actually working by themselves and researchers didn't know why this was happening and that's where today's paper is such exciting news in today's paper they detail how their therapy has triggered the brain to grow new connections from the motor cortex and into the brainstem and from the brainstem into the spinal cord what they are showing is the brain will regenerate neural connections to help bridge the broken spot in the spine. In fact, Gregory Cortine, he's the head researcher on this project, says the brain develops new anatomical connections through regions of the nervous system that are still intact after injury. The brain essentially rewires circuits from the cerebral cortex, brainstem, and spinal cord an extensive rewiring that we exposed to unprecedented detail using next generation whole brain spinal cord microscopy. And Leonie Asboth, she's the head writer on this paper, added that the recovery is not spontaneous. You need to engage the animals in intense rehabilitation therapy for the rewiring to take place. In our case, this therapy involves electrochemical stimulation of the spinal cord and active physiotherapy in a smart assistive harness. And that's where their therapy helps as well. That robotic harness that you see actually keeps zero weight on the mouse's hind legs. And this allows the mouse to exercise them without doing additional damage. But they feel that exercise is key to getting the brain to regrow these connections. This team has completed trials with non-human primates of their neuroprosthetic rehabilitation device that's the device that picks up the signals from the brain and jumps them over the damaged spinal cord. And they saw plenty of success with that. And now that they know what they're looking for, they also saw that the primate's brain was regrowing these neural connections and doing it faster than the mouse brain did. They are currently in human clinical trials at the Luzane University Hospital. And so far, those tests seem to be successful. Now we just have to wait and see if the brain will regrow its connections through the spine. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you know when I put out something new. Generally, that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I do hope to see you here again soon. And until next time, just have fun and be safe.